Hello everyone, it is Road to Glory episode 16. Let's fully update everyone with what's been going on as well. I'm hopefully, once I've got a little bit of the story, you know, covered, we're going to go into a bit of the open field fighting that I've got recorded on my phone while I've been obviously a bit busy and not able to obviously fight. But we're going to cover everything. So stay tuned for episode 16. All the story of what's been going down in Service 65. Enjoy. Hello, so yes, we're going into what has been going down and you can notice there's been a massive shift in the area. So as you know, we were getting pushed in by the Fs, but obviously that was during our downtime, guys. And even for me, they were fighting during our downtime when I were working, so I couldn't participate. So that's why obviously I've been able to record what we've been able to record. So what's ended up happening, which was amazing, as you can notice, NWO came through and did their job and absolutely sniped them and took this bottom pass. Meaning now it allows NWO to support us and come through this side, right? Which was an amazing strategy from the Server 65 as a whole, allowing NX, NX, oh, say NXN, NWO and the guys at top NRE to work together to destroy the NS Alliance here. By working together, you can see they've been able to as well punch through and it stopped all of this land because what we've been able to do is build a very short flags here, which is allowing us to destroy and a connecting flag here, which was very important for them. And don't you worry, I've got footage of some of that as well. So when I when it comes into context, obviously I'm going to go into some of the open field and then you'll understand what we're going, what we're talking about now. But we did destroy these these two flags, allowing us to now build and reclaim our bear, which is going to be later on today. So obviously we're going to be recording that and putting that in today's episode for episode 16. So don't you worry. But then, as you can see, NRE did a fantastic job again, pushing through, allowing them again to now cover from this side. Now DS are fighting on this one front. But again, it allows us as two alliances now and three alliances to come and hopefully support NRE. So that's what has been going down. You can see a load of map has progressed, but the DS alliance here is not in the south anymore. They're only fighting in this northern side. So we're going to have to shut them down and maybe lock them in Daraland if they're running out of resources and troops who knows um so let's go into obviously the account now so that is obviously the server guys um obviously you can see from episode 15 we've got our sacred hall almost done we are gonna use some of our building speed ups here that we've been working on to get it almost done and what's basically what we've been progressing on is as you can see through the early episodes we've got our rangers retreat we did use the builders to get to a 13 archer range and a 17 mage, which has allowed us to claim our beautiful better and better rewards. Um, but the cool thing is we're going to gain, a guys, that 1,100 gems. And do you know why this is a big deal? Do you know why this is a big deal? We're hitting VIP 8 today, boys. Let's go. We're going straight up. We're not even waiting. We're going straight to VIP 8. We're only 800 gems, meaning we can invest 800 gems and we've already got 150. So we might have around 500 gems left over, which is nice. But the beautiful thing now, guys, and this is what is an amazing um, achievement for the Road to Glory series, is we can now save our gems for wheels. That is right, boys. We can save up all the gems we're going to be hoarding now from all the events, all the behemoths, everything for a wheel like a Canara wheel or a Nico wheel or maybe something else. Let's see what comes out in the future, right? But that is what we're going to be able to do. So we've only got one minute left to go for this absolute mammoth of an achievement. And I've recorded it perfectly for you guys live. So I hope you appreciate but i'm honestly hyped that we've made it together this is again day hopefully 
26, I think. 24, we're even earlier in our, you, you know, VIP. And the thing is, guys, this is VIP level 8 in 24 days, under one month for a free-to-play player to do. And the thing is, our alliance, and I'm not going to lie, obviously we do have spenders, right? But we don't have absolute mammoth spenders like you would see in Service 32. So imagine if you did make a project and you and your friends, and you did have some mammoths and some big boy kraken whales in your alliance, the chances you can get to get more and more VIP is insane, and it's going to give you that VIP 8 sooner, but there we go, boom, level 18 boys, we can finally do it, we can claim it, so there we go, boom, claim those gems. We need to claim, um, build the lumber mill too, which we will do in a second, but boom, 800 gems. We're gonna invest into here. And the cool thing is, guys, again, um, another little cool little trick some people do. I know a lot of things, uh, you, you, it doesn't really matter too much in this game, but I've claimed the rewards, right, for today. So I've already got my two heads, which is really good. What I'm gonna be doing though is obviously going up in the VIP so now boom VIP 8 we've done it we can now click Nico and look we can claim again so there we go we can claim all of those rewards and start working on the boy wonder Nico so here we are we are doing something with the account we are progressing like you can imagine so we are going to start, obviously, getting the finishing touches on Guan Win through the daily chest now. So when we go here, we're going to be finishing up like we've done right now. Gain our two heads and 100 gems again. And once we've got our daily chest complete and we've scouted as well, guys, because you remember, you can be scouting on this game. And when you scout... You're going to be able... Oh, we've got 200 extra gems and we've got some extra keys. I'm just saying. I'm loving it. Um, we almost got enough for um, 10 spins, which we again can do today. So don't you worry, I'm going to record that. But what we can do now with our marches is, again, we're going to be able to... Um, when we're scouting, remember, we get those astrology camps and so on. And with those camps, we can get Guan Win heads and expertise through that way. So we've got other ways still to gain extra heads and expertise and focus on that hero. So don't you worry. We've managed to do it. So now this is our goal. So we've hit a level and this is what I'm focusing on. I've made it a little bit easier for you guys. So we've got the storehouse to do. And then we have the wall to do right so what we're first gonna do is actually upgrade the storehouse it's lower so it's gonna take less time and a little bit less requirements to do and we've already got it ready so let's pop that there's no build speed rune at the moment unfortunately we need to kill the guys but again if you're being really efficient as a free-to-play player get a build rune remember get those build runes and reduce your time even further but I'm, I'm really patient with this game. I understand 13 hours isn't too long. It's going to be done by today easily. So that's fine. And then I'll get a build rune hopefully later when we're going to need it, right? We also spun the wheel, guys. As you guys know from last episode, we did only get the mana and the three hour speed ups. But if you do look at our speed ups from what we were at, guys, we are pretty happy. Look, we're building up. Can you see what I'm saying? Especially in the universals, we're getting a bunch of the universals built up. And we need to keep doing this. We need to just keep building up. We're going to use maybe the one minutes on the training just to get through some of the training. Because you get a load of speed ups again, guys, when you do solo thoughts or patrols, which I've been slowly doing. We're going to be doing, obviously, more solo thoughts on a minute because we can get a gold key here today and that's how we're going to get our 10 chests. So that's what we're going to be doing um, later on. Again, when you look at the thought reports, solo re um, rewards for level 3 is really nice. You get a bunch of XP, you can see right here. Um, especially this one was when I shared it. So me and someone else shared it. And then this is what you get when you max it out, right? So the amount of XP you get, the amount of rewards, everything. There you go. Tier 10 rewards, really nice. Um, so 
that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to obviously pause. I say pause the video. I'm going to do a transition. Hopefully go it in time. We've got a new, obviously. Oh, and oh, yeah. I just forgot, guys. We hit. It's even more bigger. Oh! Right. Let's go. We can, we can push, man. We've got two research queues. This is even more bigger. This, I keep forgetting. So we hit level eight. We get our perks, which is amazing because we get 10% research speed. We get the second research queue and we get Nico. Oh my God. Guys, it's insane. Honestly, it's just because it's been such a long time for me to get to this stage. But look. We've got up so much power as well because of it. So what we're able to do now is actually focus through both trees at once. So we're going to go down this tree and start upgrading it. So we're going to need this free, free, and free in order to get through, which is really nice. Hit Alliance Help. But now we can hit Research again. But we're going to go down the Econ, econ tree. We need an upgrade on our building so we're gonna do that later on um because we still need to get through to here so we'll get that done as soon as so what we can do though is look back all of this is maxed out all of this is maxed out we can go and actually do these one hour speeds because we're going to be really active today so this is the time now in this second queue to start pumping through some of these early eco trees to get our resources going right so we can get better load cap and level up our heroes even quicker and then hopefully we can push through to scholarship too so that's going to be our game plan now we're going to be going obviously because we're at city hall 18 we're gonna um start upgrading our buildings as you've seen and we're also going to start pushing through the research as well as hopefully pushing all of our tier 3 units. So that's the aim of the game. That is going to be pretty much the summary of what I've been doing today. It's going to be an extra long episode though, so stay tuned. So I'm going to be transitioning into a little bit of the fighting. It's going to be just a small clip, a little teaser for you guys that do love a little bit of PvP combat. I did record some. So that's going to be at the end of the video right now. But if you do enjoy it so far, smash like, comment and subscribe to the Road to Glory series. It's purely free to play. We've done it. We've hit VIP 8, Day 24, Tier 3, smashing it with 4 marches and we're ready to rock and roll, boys. So with all that said, Let's go into the PvP area of what's been happening and then I will give you guys a little bit of conclusion and we will finish the video up for today. So here we have some of a little bit of fights that did occur during the open field fighting, you know, on, on the pass. So basically we took the pass, as you can see, and we were just holding it for defensive reasons, but... DS in the early game were being aggressive, pushing down towards the pass to take it, which they obviously did later on. I'm going to be doing a full storyline almost showcase in the map progression as well as where the fights were in another future video, so stay tuned for that. But you can see here the NXN Alliance defending whatever they can, obviously killing the, most of the members apart from Zarini here. Zarini is one of the three top big boys in the kingdom. I think he is either the third or fourth strongest um, in the kingdom. And because of that, obviously he has T4, almost T5 units. So his units are very strong compared to a lot. So you can see him absolutely rinsing, to be honest, the NXN Alliance. However... We did obviously manage to find different ways around it. You can be a whale with this amount of power if you understand the mechanics of the game, such as stamina usage, which was really cool to see later on. And we will see that again in another video. But there we can see now Crazy coming into the um, fight to support Lion since Lion did obviously do a bunch of damage to these guys and Crazy now just finishing them off with his units, which was really good to see. That little bit of teamwork between them. Lazzarini is obviously just getting the free damage. 
Crazy, obviously, I think at the moment was clearly lagging because he wasn't able to control his units that effective. But you can see him obviously sending his troops. So maybe it was just lag or, you know, maybe he was a bit busy during his time. But again, Zarini trying to lead the front line and we've got all of these marchers trying to hit him. But they're just getting absolutely melted due to the counterattack damage. And um, that is the unit difference between, I believe, tier 4. And most of these guys were rocking tier 2 to tier 3 splits, right? So we're going to go to another clip now. Because you can see that was just some powerhousing by a few of the whales. But a bit more competitive and a bit more fun to watch is the next gameplay. So you can see Mr. Crazy Bob here trying to flank us and he he ran all the way around the top pass to come and flank and try and pick off some guys here that are afk right obviously a really clever tactic and he thought no one could see him he was trying to be sneaky like me with my name he's trying to go through all the trees so you don't spot him but obviously we know he's there all of our troops are here, we are all on Discord and we all understand what's going on. So I give him the emote so he realises it's not on. We go to target his cavalry first so we can get these out of the way and there we go. We have the go charge, everyone here now swarming down Crazy Bob's troops. I know he thought this was really fun and we honestly was laughing and having a fun time doing this bit. But you can see all the Alliance members that are active now swarming down first the cavalry units here because they do do the most damage to all the archers here which will kill out majority of Bob's march. So we need to kill out this cavalry first that's suiciding so there we go. He's red and that Emery's fear combo that he ran is now I believe dead dead so we're now going to focus on the back line since his garwood is running at us and not really thinking about what's going on obviously my march is now dead due to the counter attack damage aoe but our alliance members are listening here and we are calling out to focus the back line and there you go all the aoe getting slammed down onto the canara Kanara now getting melted and down. One of his troops getting sent back to the Shadow Realm. And now he's only got his two mages and his Garwood left. And you can see everyone focusing down the Valen as fast as possible to get rid of that AoE critical damage that's on the battlefield. He was running Lilia and Hoss, which is again a very interesting combo. But that Valen and Waldea combo trying to put out as much AoE, but everyone in the NXN Alliance working together to focus him down and just like that the crazy bob march is another one being sent to the shadow realm yugi seto kaibo style you are being sent and now the leer is getting sent down into hell and you've only got garwood left and this is what you get this is punishment and this is honestly if you're a whale and you're watching this and obviously yeah, it is really fun to do it is really bad. It is really bad stamina usage. You didn't get anything really for it. You didn't capitalize on any sort of progression on the map. It was just, you know, a little bit of a whimsy funsy moment. So this is really bad because you've wasted 10 stamina doing nothing impactful, right? So with that, let's move on to a Kanara wheel. Since you guys know we've been talking about Kanara, I do record one of the wheel spins here since out of all the three spins, I did not hit her. So don't worry. We hit 200k in this in this spin right now. And we've got a couple of speed ups. So with all that said, guys, we've completed the mid-game section. So let's move on to the ending. And I hope you enjoy the summary of the Road to Glory series. Hello everyone, I hope you enjoyed all the fighting segment as well as the Kanara wheel segment to f fill out the middle segment of the episode. So what we've been doing during the downtime, as you can see, we've gone up um, forward in time still. We have finished the event, or say I finished, we got to at least eight forts, meaning we did the sixth event, got the free key, so... Without further ado, guys, let's smash 10 keys on episode 16 because we have hit VIP 8. We've done everything else, and I'm going to show you what else we've been able to do. Oh, we've got an epic, 
and we've got some Bacar heads. Not not the greatest, I'm not going to lie. Kind of disappointed with the Bacar, but it is what it is, right? So let's just go and show you what we've been doing. So in the downtime, what we did do is upgrade the school hall to 18, as you can see. So we've got that already done. We've also done 17 on the Alliance Center and we're pushing 18. And the way we've been doing that is using some of these building speed ups mainly, as you can see. Now we're almost empty. We've got a few of these guides left as well, which I am going to use on screen. So, and the reason why, I know we've been saving, but we are closing down, to be honest, really fast on our City Hall 19. So once we've got this up to 18, what this means is our align oh well, our City Hall right now is working as efficiently as possible. And that means with VIP 8, we have our 10% research speed. We have the maximum research level speed as well from our um, building level, right? So if you go to the I. We've got 9% research bonus, so we've got as much as we have can so far as well. So that's 19% already. We've got all the helps we can do as well. So now all we're going to be doing on basically a video to finish off the episode is set these buildings going, which is the storehouse. And once this is now hitting, obviously it's 18, same as my city hall. What we will be doing is the following guys, the foundry, the hospital, and then obviously the wall. And by doing that, we would have proceeded and finished, obviously, um, the units. Oh, I said the units, the, the buildings needed, and we can be City Hall 19. And we're only two levels away from unlocking T4. So I'm just saying, guys, we're, we're, we're trucking through nicely here on this server we've been in a nice active alliance as well we're not even in a super whale alliance where it's really insane where you're getting like 10 20 gold chests we don't even get one or two a day we're lucky to get one a week it is what it is because obviously everyone spends what they do so we've just got really high activity and that's what benefits our alliance the most so being in a super active alliance is going to give you guys that power that you are looking for right if you're trying to gain power fast make sure you are in the most active alliance you can be in in your region right we're at 2.177 million power we have got two researchers pumping away so that's great and now what we've also done on the downtime is finished up all of these guys so we're gonna just upgrade now the last remainder of these units so let's go and promote hit 500 boom 47 minutes and just like that with all the minute speed ups we've been gaining all the way from you know killing patrols and killing those forts in solo forting we've been able to now finish finally converting all of those archer units which means guys as we now go into the train we are beautifully emptied. We've got a full march of T3 now. And that's why it's really important the way I believe with the way we've done it. The way we've trained T1 first. Saved as many of the resources as we can. And speed ups to then speed up into tier 3. As soon as you get this big tier 3 upgrade. It's a nice big push of damage in raids as well as in the open field. That's going to fill out the time while we are waiting for that City Hall 21 and Research 21 upgrade. To get us that amazing tier 4 unit right so that is it guys i know it's been a jam-packed episode we've gone over basically what's happened in server 65 we've gone over what the account has been through what we've been doing in the past couple of days we've hit vip 8 which is amazing we've also obviously completed the buildings out on screen we've showcased some fighting we've showcased one of the wheels as well but since um i only got footage for one of them unfortunately which was the 200 mana spin but we've only got 
like I said, a three hour spin so far. We've got one more left. And another cool thing just to mention before we end the video, it does appear, as you can see, we're on five out of 50, meaning the premium reward has been stacked from the last Canara wheel to the next, this one, right? Because I've only spun it twice here and I spun it three times for free in the last one, as you can see. So it's kept that premium ranking trigger at 5 out of 50. So that's a really good little bit of information for you guys who have stuck around all the way to the end of the video that I've been able to pick up as well while we've been doing that event. So that is it, guys. That sums up pretty much the episode. Smash the like, comment, and subscribe if you have loved the episode. I know it's been a very jam-packed one. But it is what it is. Um, hopefully, we're going to be going through into the Hydra soon. Because it's going to be unlocking within the ne you know next couple of days. Which is going to be great. And then, obviously, Zone 2 is going to be unlocking as well. So, we've got all that to look forward. So, hopefully, we're going to get some live streams going as well. Like I've been hoping in my videos. I do do them when I do get some time free. So, thank you for those guys who do um tune in when i do put the live streams on you guys are amazing and thank you for all the support for everyone there um who's been watching me from the start till now but until the next video guys stay safe stay sneaky and peace out